Hi guys, I hope all of you guys are doing really, really well. I hope all of you guys are safe and with your family and friends and enjoying this summer as much as possible. I feel like I need to say that because with everything that has been going on in this world, it has been pretty intense and honestly, I haven't really been able to film. I've just been in a deep sadness um, with everything that has happened in Orlando. It just puts things into perspective. Uh, as most of you guys know, I live in Connecticut, so when the shootings happened in Sandy Hook, it definitely hit me pretty hard. Uh, it was very close to home, and so to see something like this happen once again and so massively just honestly breaks my heart. Uh, I didn't know anybody personally that was affected by this, but I do know two friends that did know two of the victims. One was actually one of their family members and then another one was a friend. So it's, yeah, I, I'm just pretty speechless about the whole thing and I just didn't feel like it was right to film. Um, I did put up a few videos but they were pre-filmed and I wanted to film every time I got to filming, I just, it just didn't feel right to me. And I, I really, you know, I'm really bad at addressing these sort of things because I am a very emotional person and um, I'm very empathetic and sometimes sad events can just overwhelm me. Um, and I can get lost in sadness, so I just need some time. Um, I'm sure all of you guys are uh, grieving and dealing with this in different ways. And um, yeah, uh, hopefully this can only make our country stronger. It me because this country is built on freedom and yet I feel like with all the events that has been going on, it has just slowly stripped us away from that. And we're left with fear. And I personally am just so scared to go to the grocery store. I'm scared to go to the movies. I'm scared to go shopping, to live, you know? And uh, I actually had plans to go to WalkerCon. And I really had to think about it because I have so much anxiety just going out, just leaving my home, um, that even though that is one of my dreams, because you guys know I love The Walking Dead, um, I don't think I can do it. Like, I don't think I can do it this year. Um, yeah. Anyways, without further ado, now on to my favorite. Okay, so the first thing that I want to share with you guys is actually a body cleanser. And this is phenomenal, guys, because I am one of these people that if I love a scent, especially when it comes to a shower gel, I want it to linger on my body, okay? And sometimes the shower gels that I get, they just dissipate. They go nowhere. They smell good, but they do nothing. But this one actually lingers on your body, and it smells so good. So this is grapefruit and lemongrass, but I will say that the lemongrass scent, you don't really smell it at all actually. It just smells like grapefruit and citrus. And I love that combination. It's perfect for the summer. Uh, the only thing that I will say is that I finished this up like really, really fast. Like there's nothing in this thing, but I do take two showers a day. So, I mean, it lasted as long as it possibly could, right? <laughs> Wait, so I want to talk about some skincare products. Okay, so this is from Nip and Fab Skin. And this is the Dragon's Blood Fix Cleansing Pads. And they do remind me of the First Aid Beauty Pads. Uh, those are a little bit more stripping. I do find, although they're wonderful, like they really give me a nice glow and they really clean my skin in the mornings. Uh, they are... A little bit strong so they do tend to dry out my skin if I use them 
a lot. But with this one, this plumps up my skin because it has hyaluronic acid. So it does have hydrating properties, but also this helps to clear your skin as well. It does have salicylic acid as well. So I like that combination because I do have dry skin, but during the summer I do tend to get some acne around my forehead area. So I like these pads because they do a couple things for my skin that my skin actually needs. This next thing is wonderful. This is from Skin Diva. And this is a ferulic acid serum. So it has 20% of vitamin C and E. And this is pretty cool because it is a super antioxidant. It neutralizes free radicals and brightens and evens your skin tone. So actually what I do is I pop this into the refrigerator so it is quite cold right now. But I use this after I cleanse my face and after I apply my essence. I then apply this because this is my serum. So um, I apply this and then I apply my moisturizer. And I have to say that I have noticed quite a difference. So I just put about three drops onto the palm of my hand and then I quickly just put this on my face. And I say quickly because this absorbs so fast. It does have like a metal medicinal kind of scent to it. It kind of smells like iron to be honest. But I feel like I have noticed a difference with the appearance of my skin, uh, especially just overall like toning my skin and just creating a more balanced complexion if that makes sense. The areas where I have noticed the most difference is especially around my cheek area because I tend to get a lot of redness around that area for some reason. I feel like I have a lot of like broken capillaries and then also I have just noticed that my complexion is just much more brighter. I do have more of a sallow complexion so that does help out with that as well. So this has definitely been a miracle worker. I will leave a link to this down below in case you guys are interested. But yeah, this is fabulous. It is cruelty free. It's non-GMO. It's vegan. It's, it's amazing. I have to talk about this as well because yes, I finally got my hands on the Luna Sleeping Night Oil from Sunday Riley. I know that this is a very coveted product. Everybody loves it. And it took me a while to finally to finally try this out. This is very expensive and the reason why I didn't want to try this out was because I knew in my heart that this would work and I really just don't want to dish out the money because it is super expensive. So pretty much the first day that I used this, the next morning, I already could tell a difference because my skin felt so much more smooth. Uh, it wasn't textured like at all. And I felt like when I washed my face and applied my other skincare products that they absorbed much more better. And I also felt like my makeup just blended in more seamlessly and yeah, it was just amazing. So this is a advanced retinol ester combined with soothing blue essential oils for an overnight facial. And that's exactly what it is. I have tried products that give me the same results, give me very smooth skin, but I have to say I've never tried it in a oil form. So that's what makes it very unique because I feel like oils really sink into your skin. They really penetrate your skin. They give you really good solid results and they hydrate your skin. And this one hydrates your skin, but it also smooths your skin. And it's not something that just sits on your skin, if that makes sense. Uh, so I love this. I feel like if you have tried the Kate Sarville Exfoliate, it's like a two minute mask. So you basically just let it sit on your face for about two minutes. Uh, you do kind of do like a little bit of a manual exfoliation for 30 seconds and then you just let it sit and once you wash it off your your skin is just super smooth. So that's kind of what this does but just in a different way. And I feel like over time, this actually will do something really great for your skin. So uh, yeah, amazing product. And I have to think about whether I will uh, get an actual full size of this, but it's really good. So I may have to, I may have to. I feel like I always take so long to film my favorites. I just can talk for days, especially when it's something that I love. And you guys are probably like, can you just get to the nitty gritty? 
So this next product is a foundation. I've talked about this before, but I had to mention this again because I use this pretty much every day in May. And uh, for this month, I've been using powders, but today I did put this foundation on for you guys so you can see how it looks like. Uh, I just, I love it. I will say that you do have to set this bad boy really, really fast because it does give you a very glowy look. And although I love that, it's not, it's not the best, especially when it's really, really hot outside. So not good for the humid weather, but if you're going to set it, it's amazing. And I just set it with the Bare Minerals, like little setting duo, which has been a favorite especially for this month so um yeah i'm not gonna mention it now i'm not gonna mention it even though i already did but i have been setting it and it just you know just looks beautiful i love the finish of this it's a nice satin finish and it's super easy because did i not mention it it's a pump like it's like a aerosol can and so i just pretty much just spray this onto my beauty blender and just dab 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 blend 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 and there you go and that's what i do and it's just so fast you do have to shake it up uh i am in the shade medium and it says it's infused with liquid crystals which hey okay and it says that this is a four in one spray foundation that's pretty much all it says but I love Pure Cosmetics. I've tried a lot of their products already and I just have fallen in love with every single one of them. But that is my favorite, like my favorite thing that they have in their line. Okay, so the next thing, next few things I want to talk about, I guess we'll talk about face stuff. Highlighters, let's talk about highlighters because those are fun. So this is from Urban Decay and this is the Afterglow Highlighter in Aura. This is so pretty guys. It is like a paled out violet. Like you can definitely notice that there is like a ice crystal kind of color, but it has this beautiful like violet shimmer running through it. It's very opaque, so there it is there. I do have it on today. That is my highlight. That is my highlight. So don't let this scare you i just want to show you how pigmented it really is but as a highlighter it is just gorgeous guys and i am a total sucker for purple pink highlighters like they are my life i i like champagne highlighters but i feel like they're so like they're so normal like there's nothing that special about them even though they look really pretty with a warmer complexion I like my highlighters to really stand out not just by the glow factor but by the unique factor and I feel like this gives a glow but also people wonder like what is on her face so it just gives you a really nice kind of like duochrome effect to your cheeks and I love that. I want to get Fireball, I believe that's what it's called, Fireball as well. That one is like more of a, a red end, like a pink red shift I believe. But I had to get this one because like I said I just love purple highlighters, they're my favorite. So I got that and I'm so impressed by that highlighter. The next highlighter that I want to talk about is from Ofra and this is the Cheeky Cheekbone Enhancer. And this is in loose powder form. And this is also a very unique highlighter. Maybe you can see that by the cover, what's left on the cover. But this is what appears to be a white highlight, but it has this really pretty like pinky red shift to it. So I do believe this is how Fireball looks like. I mean, I've never swatched or anything, but this is gorgeous, guys. It's very unique. Uh, I love it whenever I wear like a very nice warm blush and then I just pop this on my cheeks and it really just makes the red in this highlighter really stand out. Any warm blush, really. So I love that. So pretty much I've been using this one for any warm looks. And then I've been using this one with any cool looks. But uh, yeah, they're both amazing. Amazing. 
for blush this was pretty much it this is the makeup revolution palette the ultra blush palette and it comes with 10 blushes and I love this palette so much because you get some like peachy shades, you get some pink shades, you get some mauve shades. You even get these two shades right here, which I would consider this a highlight, but I consider this one more of a blush topper. I'm actually wearing this shade right here, which I've been wearing this one a lot. It's actually a little bit more pinky colored than mauve, but I still really, really love it, especially with this right here. So I actually did apply this to the tops of my cheeks, and then I applied this to the apples of my cheeks to add a really nice glow. So that's what I have going on today. That's what I've been doing a lot. This also comes with a mirror as well, but Makeup Revolution is amazing. You can find their products at Ulta. And I think I purchased this one online because my Alta isn't the greatest and it's always so discombobulated in there. So I just went ahead and got this online, but $10 guys. And these are very, very pigmented. You know, there's a little bit of kick up with these colors, but nothing to go crazy about. Uh, but this peach color though is just so pretty. But yeah, such a pretty palette and I feel like you can wear all these colors all year round really so amazing. Okay, so let's talk about some eye products that I was using. So since I skipped like two months, I do have a lot to talk about. But this is a little eyeshadow quad and this is the Soothing Sista Mimi Box uh, collab. And it is gorgeous, guys. So these are the shadows here very beautiful i love doing a very monochromatic like mauve colored look with these shadows so i would go ahead and put this all over my eyeballs and then i would go ahead and have mauve cheeks as well as mauve lips and i just love the look of it especially like a very nice peeled out mauve love it especially this color right here it's my favorite That is what it looks like right there. And I love to put that right on my lids. And then these matte shades are just amazing. They're not chalky whatsoever. They're actually quite pigmented for a matte. So those are the three colors that I really love. Absolutely happy with this palette. I will say that this is the only color that is a little bit more hard to work with. It's a little bit on the chalky side. However, these three colors are just so good. And whenever I really don't know what I'm going to do with my eyes, I just go for this little quad. And it always is such a pretty look. And the last thing that I want to mention is the Alice Through the Looking Glass Urban Decay Palette. I actually got this for Mother's Day from my mother. And I was so excited because even though I really wanted this, I wasn't going to dish out the money for it and she totally surprised me with this and I don't know why there's been so many bad reviews of this product a lot of people say that these shadows aren't as pigmented and I don't really know what they're talking about to be honest because these are super super pigmented this one is really really gorgeous there is there super pigmented let me show you this guy right here hatter I've been using that one a lot as well and it is also super pigmented. This one right here, this like cornflower blue, is also stunning. This is in the shade Metamorphosis. And it's also really pigmented. So I don't really get it, but I think the only color that I really had a hard time working with is Dream On. Although it's super gorgeous, it's very chalky, and it's not as pigmented. But other than that... I've been rocking this, and this is one of those palettes that if you want something fun, like a very unique eyeshadow look with unique colors that you probably don't have anywhere else, this is perfect. I love the blues and the greens in this, and I love the warmer shades as well. There's a lot of like good transitional colors. I just, I love the palette so much. I almost forgot to mention these to you guys. These are natural deodorants. I don't use the nasty chemical filled deodorants. I used to use, I believe it's called Secret. I can't even remember because it's been so long. But I now use these. And before these, I used the Urban Cowboy deodorants. And those are also natural, but they're just not as good as these. So 
This one is from Wish, and this is actually a deodorant gel with a hair inhibitor as well, which is awesome. I always shave my pits, so I can't really tell you that this is helping in that uh, category there. I can tell you guys, though, that these do help out with sweating and BO and all of that good stuff. So this is amazing, okay? This one, like I said, is a deodorant gel, so it has that sort of... Um, sticky kind of texture at first but then it really just sinks into your pits but this one has a very pleasant uh, fresh scent which I really really love and I just switch them out from day to day there's no rhyme or reason uh, I just I honestly like them both as much I don't really have one that I like better I guess the textures are very different but they don't really bother me because like I said this one dissipates rather quickly so this one is more of your typical like stick form. So if you like a solid deodorant, then you probably will like this one better. But this is from La Vanilla, and this is the Healthy Deodorant Solid Stick in Pure Vanilla. And it smells so good. I'm not a huge fan of vanilla, I'll be honest. But this one doesn't really smell like vanilla. It has, again, more of a fresh kind of powdery scent to it nothing like baby powder or anything but yeah it's just a very subtle scent which I really really like so I've been loving these okay so the last things that I have to share with you guys are lip products so this first one is from Urban Decay I actually have another one yeah from Urban Decay but this is the matte stark naked lipstick and they totally changed all of their formulas and they have just one big like humongous line of lipsticks I believe they have like 100 lipsticks in several different finishes but this is still in their line I don't know if the formula is different but the color is just so gorgeous guys and the formula is actually really good so if the formula is the same I will be really really happy I think they have mattes and comfort mattes they also have metallics and all that stuff, but I believe that this would be in their comfort matte line. But this is the color right here. It's like a really nice peachy nude right up my alley. This is the type of nudes that I like. A very nice warm nude on my lips. So good. So I have been using this a lot and I love this so much that I actually picked up a lipstick for my grandmother because she is just a lipstick queen, okay? And she likes very, like, deep brownie shades. And what's the color that I got? Like, 1996 or something? 1993? I don't know. 1990-something. I got that color for her, and it was a really nice brown, and she really liked it. So, yeah, I love the formulas of these. Hopefully, they didn't change them too much. But this color is just so beautiful. And I did find somewhat of a dupe a little bit from Shop Miss A. So, this is also a dollar. But this is from BR Cosmetics, and this is their Pure Matte Lipstick in Pure Taupe. This isn't a favorite. I do really like it, but this is a favorite. But I wanted to share with you guys that this is very, very similar. The texture is a little bit different. It's not as creamy. But this pretty much gives me the same color. So, yes, love this as well. It's just not one that I was using a lot. So I couldn't say that it's a favorite, but I did notice that they are very similar in color. So that is definitely a win. So the other lipstick that I want to share with you guys is also from Urban Decay as well. Beautiful packaging. This is actually from the Alice Through the Looking Glass collection. And this is the one that I really gravitated towards because it was so unique. And this is in the shade Alice. And they call this a sheer shimmer. It's so unique, guys. It's very hard to explain, but when you first look at it, it looks like a straight up nude. Very peachy in tone, almost like fleshy toned, but it's so unique. It has actually a like violet shift to it. I'm gonna just swatch it pretty guys. So honestly, the camera isn't probably going to pick up the beauty of this lipstick. It has like a peachy tone to it, but it definitely has a purple shift to it. If you have the Alice Through the Looking Glass palette, there is a shadow in that palette called Duchess. And this is pretty much the lipstick version of Duchess. It's like a peach with a really pretty violet shift to it. And it just looks so gorgeous on the lips. 
in my Dollar Tree, my latest Dollar Tree video, I was wearing this lipstick in case you guys are wondering what it looks like. It's just it's so pretty. It just really gives you nice, juicy lips. So this next lip product is very different. This is from Para Para, and this is the Perry's Tint in, I don't really know because it's in Korean, but it's like a orange, like a peachy shade, I guess. But it is just that. It's a really nice tint. Let's see where I can swatch it. I guess I'll swatch it here. That is it right there. And it just gives me a really nice wash of color. So if I just want a little something on my lips, a little bit of color, but nothing too crazy, if especially I'm going for like a very natural look, then I will just pop this on. And it really does a great job at like staining my lips. And it just looks very pretty. It's a nice pop of color, but without being too much. So that is it, guys, for my super long favorites. I hope all of you guys have an amazing week. I don't know if I'm going to put this up on the weekend. If so, I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Love you guys. You want to say hi? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, say hi to the camera right here. Her hair is a mess. It was up in the ponytail. Yeah. What is this? What do you have here? What is this? A basketball. A basketball? A basketball. Yeah, it's so fun. Mm -hmm. What do you have there? Another, Another toy? Yeah. Show them. It's a werewolf? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, but She says a lot of yeah and news. Do you want to go in the night? Yeah. You're tired? No, you're not tired? You don't want to go tonight? No? A bike. Yeah. A bike.